guys, welcome back to Pipe Talk. So today, it's a little bit of a special video. I'm smoking my great grandfather's pipe. So tomorrow is actually his birthday. So March 10th. So what I did with this pipe, the stem wasn't big enough to fit in it, so I melted it and shaped it properly to fit. So right now is the first time I've ever actually smoked this pipe, so it's pretty neat. I'm glad I, I was able to do this because he's the reason why I was interested in getting into pipe smoking. It's good. Um, got Colts Gold in there. I wish I could get some old uh, Prince Alberts or one of those old pipe tobaccos he used to smoke, but. I think Prince Albert is uh, actually discontinued from what I've been seeing lately anyways. Unless I'm wrong, you guys can comment down below if I'm wrong. So today, I'm going to be reviewing a few different items. So, what I'm going to be reviewing first off is going to be Brill Cream versus Groom and Clean. And this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. I already know which one my favorite is, but I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to do it as per the reviews, and we'll see how it goes. So uh, thanks to you new subscribers, again my channel starting to grow slowly. One subscriber is better than no subscribers, so I'm really glad that you guys are actually taking the time to click the subscribe button. Um, it allows my channel to grow, so thanks a lot for that. Today I'm drinking some good old hot chocolate. Actually, a beautiful night tonight, actually. So, right now, as you may notice, I'm not, I usually wear a flat cap in my videos. Today I'm wearing this hat here. The reason why I'm wearing this hat is because uh, my grandfather Williams used to wear fedoras pretty often. I didn't have a fedora at home unfortunately so I just thought I'd wear one of these hats in celebration to him, right? It's his birthday tomorrow, smoking his pipe so why not? I'm actually looking at getting a uh, bowler hat soon. I find those hats are pretty cool. I noticed the flat caps kind of like a hat that a lot of pipers wear. Um, I love that hat. I don't ever see people wearing a bowler's hat anymore. So I'd like to start bringing that back. And, uh, you know, there's lots of old fashioned uh, hats or clothing that I'd like to bring back and show you guys myself that some of you guys may have forgotten about or never really knew about, right? Uh, for me, a bowler hat. Uh, I was just watching some old 1920s movies on the old TV that I reviewed not long ago. And I noticed it was a pretty neat, pretty neat hat. So. I'm gonna buy myself one and see what see what you guys think. Brill cream versus groom and clean. All right, so first I'm gonna try some brill cream and then I'm gonna put groom and clean. So I'm gonna bring you guys over and let's give it a try. So, hair's washed. I uh, had some roots of pomade in my hair, which is actually my favorite pomade of all times. Uh, great hold, great smell, and uh, really nice dry look too. So, anyway, so now we're gonna go down to the old school hair products. So, Brill Cream, as you guys know, I've done a review on this before. Uh, my great grandfather used this too, which is pretty cool. He's a quiet man. He uses Brill Cream, the quiet hairdressing. Brill Cream's quiet because it's natural. So natural, only you know it's there. Brill Cream's ingredients are natural. Naturally light, naturally pure, naturally clean. So natural. So quiet, only you know it's there. He's a quiet man. He uses Brill Cream, the quiet hairdressing. So this was made in uh, 1928. It does give you that grease look and not much hold. Like any other hair product from like before the freaking 70s. 
So if you guys want a full review on uh, Brill Cream hair product, I'm going to leave a link in my description so you guys can check out the full review. Alright, so here we go. See a little dab will do you. I put about that much. I got a lot of hair. Get down for a sec. One thing about Brill Cream is the smell is unbelievable. Mm. Favorite smell of all hair products, Brill Cream. Alright, so it's in my hair. Um, my hair is a little bit damp, that's how I like to put it in. So, I did have a slick back for a little while. I had a side part for years, and I think I'm gonna go back to the side part because that, I, I find myself that that's a better look, it's a better vintage look, um, and my fiance likes it better, so may as well keep it that way. <laughs> I, I pump it up just a little bit to give it a little bit of volume, make it look thicker. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's not bad. The hold isn't terrible. Uh, huge shine. But yeah, so, yeah, this this is it. If the, the wind hits your hair, your hair is done for. It. You may as well carry around a comb, which is what I'd assume most people did back in the day. But uh, yeah, nice shine. Um, yeah, I don't mind it with a little bit of hairspray. It's a great product and a great smelling product. I mean, it's all they had back in the day, right? So, it's pretty nice. So I use Groom and Clean. It controls just shampooed hair without grease. See? Mixes with water, no grease, just clean. My just shampooed hair shapes up without grease. Believe me, with Groom and Clean, you're in control. All right, so now hair is washed. Time to review Groom and Clean. So, uh, Groom and Clean. Um, I've looked everywhere, and I can't seem to find the year it came out. Like I've looked everywhere online. I know for a fact it's been out since the '60s, maybe before that. But by all the advertisements you can see online, it's all either '60s or '70s. But I can imagine it probably be out in the '50s. But this is a greaseless hair product. Um, this is like the first, I'd say, gels that came out. So, another reason why I'm not a big fan of it. So yeah, this this really does smell like shaving cream. And what's funny is that it actually looks like shaving cream. It doesn't have that gel consistency, really. More of a shaving cream consistency. So I'm gonna put a decent amount in my hair. Um, I've only used this once before, and I wasn't a huge fan, but let's give it a try, you know, you never know. So right off the bat, it's, uh, it's thicker than Brill Cream, by just rubbing it together. And it really does smell like shaving cream, like while rubbing it in my hair, I can smell you know, it really smells like shaving cream. I'm gonna put a little bit more because my hair is a little damp. Okay, so uh, my fiance is having a hard time filming this. She keeps going up and down the stairs to get the baby, uh, so the product dried out. But she's amazing. Um, thanks for filming this. All right, so let's get this done and over with. You know, it, it's not easy with an eight month old. So, let's style this. And again, don't forget, my hair was meant to have to be slicked back. So right now I'm just doing a side part, but all this hair hanging here is because I had a slick back before, so. All right, so. It's in my hair, it's styled. What do I think? Well, it was it was a pain to uh, to style my hair. It was really stubborn. Uh, my cowlick here was really really hard to style properly with this stuff. It's more of a dry look. That's the only thing, and that's what people were looking for back then. I'd assume is that they didn't want the greaser look by the '60s, right? It was more of a '50s thing, and uh, they came out with this stuff. My hands are already 
pretty dry and they are kind of oily, which is weird. But uh, yeah, my opinion on all this. Groom and Clean, um, it's not bad of a product, still better than most products nowadays, most stupid gels and all that garbage. Um, probably better for your hair than the stuff you can put in your hair now. Uh, but Brill Cream. So personally, I think Brill Cream would be my choice. Uh, doesn't mean it needs to be your choice, but it is mine just because I do like the shine. I like the smell and I like the fact that it styles a little bit better and the hold is a little bit better than the Groom and Clean. In general, what would I rate this? I would rate Brill Cream a 10 out of 10 for smell. Hold probably just 4 out of 10. And while well, the packaging, I'd rate it 10 out of 10 because I love it. The dark and red uh, coloring, I just love it. It's, it's old school but still modern in a way. So I like that. Uh, groom and Clean. The smell. Mm, 5 out of 10. It smells like shaving cream. Shaving cream doesn't smell bad, but it's not a good smell either. The hold, I'd give it maybe a 3, three out of 10. Um, the packaging, well the packaging, let's face it, it looks like toothpaste. It looks like a bottle, or it looks like a toothpaste, but do I like it? Yeah, I kind of do like it. I think it's kind of neat, actually. So that was my take on Brill Cream versus Groom and Clean. My opinion, Brill Cream wins. I'd like to see some of you guys post some of these videos. I'm curious to know what you guys think between these two awesome hair products. Again, I'm not hating on Groom and Clean. I still love this product just because it's an old school hair product and it's one of the first gels they'd ever invented that you have to appreciate it in a certain sense. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm glad uh, I'm glad I was able to review those items. Um, from what I've been seeing lately, they're saying that Groom and Clean might be discontinued soon, so uh, stock up if you can. So another thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is my uh, mustache growth. So right now it's looking pretty poor; it's not looking very good. But I'm going to try to grow back into the handlebar mustache. So that was a big thing for me. I had the nice curls going, but that's what I'm going to be doing soon. I'm going to be growing this out, get the curls back, and uh, I want to get that side part back too. Uh, it's good to explore with different haircuts, different facial hair. I cannot grow a beard whatsoever. I can barely even grow a goatee. So for me, a mustache is nice, and uh, again, it, may, it gives you that uh, finishing touch with the vintage look with the side part and everything else, right? Especially flat caps. and. Um, you know, I, I guess uh, when you smoke a pipe, um, most people who do smoke a pipe are into vintage things and the vintage look, right? Um, so I admire some of those people's mustaches I've seen on Instagram lately. Unreal. Um, so that's that. I'll send you guys outside to smoke in the pipe and I'll see you guys again soon. Hope you guys liked that review. I'm really glad I was able to show you guys my uh, great grandfather's old pipe. Um, I think this pipe is at least from the 1930s to 1940s, so if not older. But uh, yeah, it, it, it was nice that I was able to fix this and show you guys. And uh, again, I hope you guys like my review and you guys can have your own preference. That's okay. But that's what I chose. Brill cream is what I chose. So anyways, please subscribe and share and like this video if you'd like. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. See you guys.